Hello you all. Wow, we just made it over 30,000 subscribers. I never thought that a channel like mine could go so far. I want to thank all of you for the support and the interest in my projects and wish you a wonderful day. In this video, I will be showing you how to very simply smooth the surface of a PLA 3D printed object. As many of you might know, fused deposition modeling also known as FDM printing, leaves quite distinctive layer lines. To remove these, you normally must either fill them in with wax, resin, or sand them down. With ABS, many people use the so-called solvent smoothing, where the print is submerged in an atmosphere of acetone vapor, which dissolves the outer layer and fills in the layer lines, giving the print a smooth appearance. Because I'm doing lost PLA bronze casting, I was experimenting with different solvents to smooth my prints and found out that dichloromethane works the best. The nice thing about DCM, as it is called in a laboratory, is that it is available to private individuals and with the proper safety precautions can be handled safe and easily. To show you the process itself, I printed some skeletal hands in different sizes. You can clearly see the layer lines on each of the prints. Especially the fingers are quite bad in printing quality. The DCM is now filled in a suitable container. Any class container you have is up for the task. Then the print is submerged in the DCM and swirled around a couple of times. Make sure to have a handle attached to the print so you do not have to touch it as it becomes sticky after the solvent treatment. When you are done giving it a proper dip, in the solvent, just hang it out and dry and repeat the process if necessary. Now some safety information. DCM is very volatile, so working in a well-ventilated area is a must. You also must wear goggles for eye protection, as any kind of solvent, even nail polish remover, can make you go blind if you get a splash in your eyes. Furthermore, wearing gloves is an important thing, as DCM gets absorbed through the skin. Please note that normal vinyl gloves can only be considered as a splash cover, as the DCM goes through them in no time. This means if you are using normal gloves, you need to change them directly after you notice a splash on them. For prolonged working, you should rather wear PVA gloves. As you can see, the areas which got submerged in the DCM are smooth and have a nice texture, comparable to that of a resin print. We can also see that it worked better on the bigger hand, as solvent smoothing always loses some detail. So having a bigger print lessens the impact of that. You can use the DCM almost indefinitely by just storing the already used solvent in an airtight container. But if you have too much color in it, you can always do a simple distillation and it is ready to use again. Simple distillation kits can be easily bought on eBay or Amazon for quite cheap. A bonus for people with a resin printer is that the washing solvent, for example isopropyl alcohol, can be easily recycled with the same setup. If you are interested in me showing how to recycle solvents, just leave me a comment and if there is enough interest in the topic, I will make a video on it. A big thanks goes out to all my Patreon supporters. If you also want to support the production of my videos, consider doing so via Patreon. So, only one thing left to say. Have fun and do not kill yourself.